Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, nearly three dozen people have now come forward accusing a retired South Shore pediatrician of sexual assault. The case against Richard Koff started late last year when two women came forward accusing him of assaulting them during their annual checkups when they were younger. Other accusers have surfaced since then. Koff has pleaded not guilty. It's taken eight years, but investigators believe they've solved the killing of a young mother who was shot outside of a nightclub in Everett. The DA, Marion Ryan, says 27-year-old Henry J.R. Del Rio fired nine shots into a crowd during an argument outside of that nightclub in 2015. One of the shots hit 21-year-old Ashley Berryman, killing her. Berryman was outside of the club selling CDs at the time. On Saturday, the town of Plymouth will hold a special election to vote on a ban of those so-called nip bottles. The town approved the ban back in October, but a package store owner fought back. Now the issue's up for a special town-wide vote. The package store owner says a ban could cost him 15 to 40 percent of his business. Supporters say the bottles create a lot of litter, among other problems. Let's get a check of the forecast now with Alyssa Andrews. Alyssa. Hey there, we are on that next weather alert for the system incoming tonight and early Saturday morning. So we're expecting a good one to two inches of additional rainfall on top of what we've already gotten this past week with the heavy rains and the melting snow. So that's going to cause more issues for renewed flooding concerns and also some wind damage because we do have some very gusty winds, especially along the Cape and Islands. We're expecting on for tonight and early Saturday morning. Primary concern is going to be the coastal flood warnings that we have and also some interior flood concerns as well. Now we are under some wind Wind advisories and the strongest winds are set to occur about 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, which will coincide with the timing of the heaviest downpours. By 11 p.m. this evening, we'll start to see those showers rolling in for western Massachusetts. It spreads out pretty quickly and tents heavy downpours into the overnight hours and early Saturday morning. Taking a look at our seven day forecast, we honor the next weather alert for tomorrow, of course, and we have a little bit of a break Monday, Sunday into Monday before another next weather alert takes place on Tuesday. That for a round of snow showers. Hours, David. That's a busy weather department. Alyssa, thank you. This has been a WBZ News update. I'm David Wade. Thank you for watching and have a good night.